Okay. It looks like this is a take two of In a Perfect World with Flash Somebody on In a Perfect World at the real liberty media dot com. That's where we hang out to discuss the uh finer things in life. That's what I call it. Mm. And Grimm puts the program out on uh different places, BitChute and Spreaker and we got connected to iHeart Radio and uh I got a thing and said they were gonna put it in front of a bunch of people. So I don't know. This is more or less just entertainment, you know, from the um, the normal, average, everyday. Oh, still again? Okay, I'm at 9.06. Now I'm at 9.07. Yeah, I started over. And uh, this will be... Let's see. We'll just do it until it gets done right. Been having lots of trouble. Okay, but am I clear now? See, so we'll type it into the thing and ask before they can hear it. <laughs> and that'll be that. And if from that point, I'll try to do it in a perfect world solo performance of... Because <laughs> sometimes Vinny gets tied up doing other things. And uh, there you go. I don't know what the glitch was, but I heard it on the headphones. And I went, holy smokers... What have I done this time? And I wasn't going insane or anything. It was just the, I guess, the communication waves were go gar go go gling so that it couldn't be re That was fun. <laughs> anyway, did I chase everybody off the RLM doing radio tonight? All alone by myself. And I had such a great, uh, idea struck me the other day because of the word economics I was thinking about anger and I come up with yes angernomics mm. thanks Grim and uh, angernomics are the threshold to the door I think but hmm. somehow the electronic world takes um uh, takes us places emotionally where it it only seems fitting in person but to um but on a screen in your own house and all that you would think things would change but well i don't know where to i don't know what to say about all this kind of stuff but anger you know we're we're all pissed off at each other and everybody's getting screwed by the same group. They just, you know, call them something different in the place you live, right? And then they tell us that those people over there are fucking different. They're nothing like you. Don't trust them. They're nasty. And, hmm. Seems to me somebody's full of shit. And the reason I say that is... I've been to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five countries separate from USA soil. Okay. Hey, how you doing, Beetle? Um, oh, yeah, I didn't say hi to the group. I got distracted by my screw-up. I did something wrong, and uh, the, the very beginning of the st show started to gargle. It was terrible. So I did a take two, but I forgot all about you guys. <laughs> yeah, and tonight we're going to say hi to the bots and bodies that uh, occupy the reallibertymedia.com chat room where things can get rather tasty, if you know what I mean. And sometimes they're not. It just, I guess it depends on the time of day you catch the crowd that's available in. You know, we have our morning crowd, and we've got our afternoon crowd, and then we have our early, late morning, afternoon, evening crowd, and then there's everybody else. And that starts with Barman, Grimner, Moose Girl, Brackets DC, Anti Asmo, Chalcedony, Me, I B Don C, Ponder Gander, 
Miss Kate Rain Arlen Fluke Rob Works The Bubbler Rooms Vinny The Phantom Beetle Cyborg Noodle Dakota Frumpy Gromit Java Doctor Java Doctor Two Jays Nines Jays Kozu Kiss Nensen Dubois Poxified Poxophone Pone Sauce Sock Puppet Skittle Tech Man and the Uno Bot. And that's the entertainment that they got going for you in the chat room right now. But there's other stuff. There's lots of channels here. And uh, Grim Carries, um, Chuck O'Celli, other people that are on the RLM lineup. But it's still a small crowd. You know, can't expect. Um, people have been convinced that the words that they're using mean what they've been taught. And I believe that the words have been changed, reorganized, and redistributed in ways that work against us. And we call it law. Hey, Rob works. I'm solo if you're... Uh, I guess I'd have to type it so he'd know. Anyway, because um, Rob's boycotting me when I, when I do a, a radio podcast with Vinny. Because... And uh, Hansel's boycotting Vinny because of me. So, it, it, wow, man, I'm a, I'm married. My wife's going to think I'm getting strange, you know, in my old years, acting all stupid over some fucking words on a screen. And at the end of the day, I mean, that's really all it boils down to. Just my opinion about some stuff I read. And some of the stuff I read is uh, very disturbing, you know. So it it will put me already in a negative kind of thing because I just read that fluoride is a uh, waste product of a man manufacturing process, chemical manufacturing process. So it's like the double, and then and after that, then they throw something on top of you. So it's not really a, hmm. the things that we learn on the internet they're very unpleasant, and they shift the way we feel. And knowing this stuff, it's got that. Just knowing it has to do a little bit of damage because you have to accept it. Hey, Rob, good to have you here. I like I like it when Rob works hangs out when I do this crazy shit because I don't know. Uh, I like to tell the stories. And you know, reminisce about how things once were and, and what I saw them turn into. And and then I guess the end of the fairy tale as I escaped the adventurous USA with the downfall and went to another land, you know, like Hop Frog in the, in, uh, the book. <laughs> Excuse me. I, <clears throat> I'm a little, little ill. I got a little bit of that cold. I've been vitamin C in, but I'm still a little stuffed in the nasal passages for your listening entertainment. <laughs> Some strange. Oh, no, no, no. Me and Cirque are, uh, we're compatible beyond belief. It's, it's a good pair. You know, if you're into the pair bonding thing, and some folks aren't, I completely understand that, especially... The way that society turned out in my lifetime, holy fuck. I was lucky to be born when I was. Because I got to watch the whole damn thing like a movie. And along the road, I was very fortunate to meet adults that said, Oh, hey, come here, kid. Let me tell you about this shit. And the other kids I was grown up with didn't hear it. And if they hung around me, they didn't want to hang around me when I was going to hang around with a grown up. That was for dumb asses. And to this day, I still, geez, I hear the people call me names. Oh, I'm a drug addict, and I'm a this, and I'm a that. Well, there you go. You can't, you just can't please people. Some of us are, are perpetually looking to fix something. That's what life taught you. You need to fix this. It is broken. But never question how it got broken or you'd realize you're a 
tool for trying to fix it. <laughs> it's it's not going to ever fucking work. You know what they call it? They They call it government. And you know what government doesn't do? Doesn't work worth the shit. You know how you prove that? Well, if you got fluoride in your water and you got uh, waste products in your food, chances are it's a government product. <laughs> that's the best these morons can do. And that's because they write it in the laws as the bare minimum that you won't get fined for. Or if you do get fined, it takes years for this shit to go through. And then when you pay the fine, where do, where does the money go? Hmm? Hmm? So some guy says, yeah, we got that money. How do you know? Where did it go? What did it go to do? <laughs> They've been doing this for a hundred and six years this month. Or, last, or say January, right? So all the loans and interest that they, you know, have transacted over all these years, it's never been printed. And they can't account for it. So people think the money's real. <laughs> I wonder how things are going to go when that crashes. Because eventually it will. And when it does, boy, all this cheap shit from China is going to stop quick. So they're going to try to 5G everybody first. <laughs> so that when, when shit don't work, you'll be too fucked up to care. <laughs> Just go, oh, okay. I guess I'll go along with it then. Why be a, you know, <clears throat> a clot in the arteries of society? <laughs> Because as you all know, as as my worthy adversary will point out on any given day in the realerbertymedia.com chat, communism doesn't work, for crying out loud. Look at how good the U.S. is. We're not communists. <laughs> Every social program in the world. <laughs> you get it in America. <laughs> Jesus. There's less Americans in Denmark because Denmark ain't going to pay you to come here. They don't play. Homie don't play that. But in but in Danish. Whatever the homie won't play that shit is. That's what they do. What's you deeming? Oh, they're talking all geek on the uh, our real liberty media dot com chat room. And I... Let me go through my notes to see if I can't stir up a an interesting tale of observation. Let's call it that, right? Because I did manage to come up with this brilliant line, and I think it's brilliant, but you guys probably don't. Angernomics, people. Think about it. When you're pissed off and you're breaking your own shit, you're misusing your angernomics. Like money. Yeah? Get it? Huh? Huh? Anyway. <laughs> I can tell you there's one thing we agree on is we don't trust each other at all. None of us. Everybody's scared of the other guy. We're all victims of the internet today now. Boo hoo hoo hoo. Because uh, that's the only argument there is. We're on the internet, so it's all verbal. It's all even less than verbal. It's in your mind. <laughs> So, I get to have imaginary arguments in my own mind at my own computer between video games and taking shots at the puzzle. And I'll sit down here and maybe get into a little banter or read something for a bit and throw a, throw a stupid comment in there to see if anybody cares. And, eh, see, that's what I mean. It, we're just trying to get along, get through the day, and, you know, not be disappointed. Well. I got bumped off the, um, oh, no, I didn't. Hey, there you go. Um, Rob Works, hey, thanks. Let me go back to the uh, reallibertymedia.com chat room. Anyway, I see, I'm so easily distracted when I do the computer. I was trying to read notes, and I saw something on the thing about Urban Dictionary. <laughs> anyway, see, 
This is why you're not supposed to smoke marijuana when you're operating electronic equipment. Because you might forget get what you were talking about and have to come up with something brand new. <laughs> wow, we're such a threat to society, the pothead. You know, oh no, the potheads are going to come and eat all our Cheetos. Oh, <laughs> grommet. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just reading names. I'm going to have me a sip of elixir. I'll be back in a minute. Got me some strawberry tea for my radio podcast tonight because I'm in a perfect world. But my other half didn't show up, Mr. Vincent. Um, he said he was going out for a wander. That was hours ago. And we haven't seen or heard from him since. So there you go. <clears throat> Did you know that these are my observations? Okay. So. Here's the thing. I'm not going to put names to these, you know, visual observations of written text on a TV screen. Because you got to remember, we're, we're being fed something through waves, right? <laughs> and I noticed that the individual is brilliant. The individual in every area on the Internet is a brilliant motherfucker. And the minute they're a group, then they're ignorant again. So, hmm. Now, I don't know how to define that right yet. I know the direction I'm going in. I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> but uh, over the years, I've noticed how the individual gets shoved aside and put in a box with other individuals. That's not being an individual. That's being in a group. So, there's too many of us to be individual in the first place. Well, that that tells me this. And I don't know how to explain this very well. But it's very simple. If the life that I live is uh, all my supplies and all my sources of fuel are inferior and second rate, then what I'm going to be able to physically accomplish accomplish bah, 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 using that fuel is going to be limited because they're tainted and that's what I think and I perp I think they purposely taint this shit to slow us down so that we'll do what exactly what we're doing and I don't I don't think it it involves everybody in a way and in a way it doesn't it's like a wave because you can't stop any of this stuff. You can't change the direction of any of this shit. What we ended up with was just people writing down on paper or standing up in front of a camera and telling me something. Never asked me a freaking question. Hey, do you want us to build nuclear facilities? Well, no, not really. They just did it anyway. Now, there's two sides to the nuclear facility thing. And one side is to scare the fuck out of us all that don't understand nuclear physics to a level of handling the products of nuclear physics. So they had one of the guys that did, can't think of his name, here, here I go with this name problem I got, but he made videos handling nuclear waste and all kinds of weird shit. So either that was the fraud or... The one we have is the fraud. Either way, right? The minute you have the moment to doubt your leader's abilities or judgment or whatever they did as a negative, well, what more is there to need to know? You know, when, when my kid made a mistake, I didn't say, uh, good job, sweetheart. I hope you, you know, break your arm the next time you uh, don't watch the door closing. No, you you know, you you learn from making errors and you slow down as you grow up. Unfortunately. I don't I can't say I haven't known a lot of people personally that were encouraged young like I was to uh pursue the interests that they had instead of following the state and, you know, 
going and off and being a good boy and all that stuff. Uh, didn't I didn't get that part drilled into me from my folks. They were pretty um, straight-laced. So, you know, having a job at 15, 16, was, it was more expected, I think, from them without being forceful about it. It was the example. You know, now you're old enough. Hey, you know, I'll let you use the car if you go make money with it. To, you know, bribe me into the, the next step of my development. Because uh, I wasn't doing shit with education. didn't interest me at all, right? So they figured maybe the military would work. Oh, then I could, you know, do the education thing too. And they talked me into all that. And I give it a shot. And all, all the all the branches of the service at the time said, No, we, we can't use you. No, thank you. And it was... It turned out to be such a great thing for me. But my, my folks... They weren't pleased. <laughs> they they because my, my father went. That's how he met her. He was in the military. Anyway, so you know I don't come from a military family or any of that shit. It's just the old man did that to do whatever he did, and that was his stepping stone to uh, meeting my mom. In my opinion, I, there's probably a whole lot of other shit. I, see, you can look at every damn little thing. And decipher it however you want to. Just depends on the memory that you carry about it. And speaking of carrying memories about stuff, uh, hmm, I don't know. I read the term medically mutilated on a link the other day, and I wrote it down. The two words, Met hey Java doctor, yeah. And you know, I'm not saying this because uh, your upcoming thing. It, it's just the timing of it. I happened to read your name when I was reading the note. But there's times where medicine is good and there's times where it's not. And uh, that, and see, it's all subjective. How do you force other people to understand the way you understand the world and expect them to do what you want? See, that... It, and what it comes down to is that we got this majority rule bullshit idea that, well, these people say it's this, that, and the other, so we're going to go along with that. Well, nobody ever brings up what is best for all of us. Um, oh, hey, thanks, Rob Works. I forgot, but I wasn't planning to do tonight solo, so you know what? I'm going to shift gears for Mr. Robworks. He sent a yeah, he sent a story out. So I'm going to give this thing a read live. <clears throat> Oops, hold on one second. Let me do this properly. I didn't feel that come coming on. Yeah, he had a uh what do you call it? Like a, a sp spit winkle in my throat making me talk all goofy. Okay. I probably did. Beetle, if it's after 9.30, it, it probably, I said it. There you go. I'm guilty, your honor. She looked every bit of 15. Anyway, that was for my redneck friends out there in the RLM chat room. You are welcome. Anyway, now, Rob Works posted this the other day, and let me start at the very, very beginning. And I'm in, And it's a long read says 11 minutes, so I'm slow and I interrupt myself, so uh-oh. But I got an hour and a half to go on the show, so th thanks, Rob. This this will uh, give you guys a break from whatever crap I was going to come up with. And it is called Johnny versus the Newsman. In the land of freedomocracy, there lived a boy named Johnny. Like all children, Johnny went to school where he was taught to think the same thoughts grown-ups think by educators with desperate faces. Hmm. At school, Johnny learned what thoughts to think about his country and the world so that he would be able to understand the things the newsman on the screen says. I'm sorry, Rob. Whoa, give me a minute. Uh, that was fun. That slapped me right in the face. Anyway, 
He learned that the other countries are ruled by evil dictators who hate freedom, kill their people with poison gas for no reason. <laughs> but in free democracy, the people rule themselves using goats. Votes. <laughs> The people rule themselves using votes. <laughs> every couple of years, everyone goes to voting stations to try to elect the people who will do the things they want to happen. And whoever gets the most votes does the things they were elected to do. <laughs> In evil dictatorships, the only things that happen are the things the evil dictators want. But in free democracy, the only things that happen are the things that the people want. Yeah, <laughs> little Johnny. Johnny learned and learned and grew and grew. And when he got as big as a grown-up, he was given a diploma which said, Johnny thinks all the right thoughts and he doesn't think any of the wrong thoughts. He knows how to count and how to spell. And he knows how to find free democracy on the globe. <laughs> Johnny thinks the right thoughts about free democracy, the world, the law, the internet, money, war, drugs, medicine... And he knows how to listen to the newsman on his screen. He can have a job now. <laughs> this is priceless, Rob. Holy shit. Anyway, Johnny went out and showed his diploma to different job places. And he was hired to turn a gear at a gear-turning office. They paid Johnny money for his gear-turning and he used it to get an apartment and some peanut butter. Wow, great investment. Uh, well, Johnny's obviously not Jewish people, so bear with me here. One day, Johnny was at the office, and everyone started speaking with alarmed voices. Someone turned on the screen on the wall, and the newsman was speaking next to a picture of an explosion. The newsman's eyebrows were furrowed, and he spoke with a solemn voice. There has been an attack by terrorists, and now thousands of people are dead, said the newsman. We are getting reports that the terrorists were sent to explode this building by an evil dictator. So free democracy will have to declare war to get rid of him. Hmm. Sounds like the plan. Johnny had learned in school that sometimes evil dictators are so evil that they pose a danger to free democracy. <laughs> how can you be a, a how can you be a danger to something that's perfect? How insane and why? Anyway, sorry about that, Rob. To be continued. So war must be declared in self defense. War is very sad, but sometimes it's necessary to protect free democracy and to bring freedom to the people who are always being killed with poison gas by the evil dictator. Johnny had also learned that boys of his age would be sent to fight in that war. Sure enough, the next day a message popped up on Johnny's pocket screen saying you have been selected to go to war to overthrow the evil dictator and the terrorists who have attacked us. It is your patriotic duty to report to your nearest enlistment station tomorrow so that we can give you a gun and send you to fight. Whoa, Johnny didn't sleep that night. He didn't want to leave his apartment and go someplace where people were shooting one another. And he especially didn't want to get killed by terrorists. <laughs> Thinking about that. Nah, yeah, that's what I want to do. I woke up this morning. Hey, bring some terrorists. I've got to, I'm hungry. I want to have like four for breakfast. 
<laughs> sorry, Rob, but he had been taught in school that a boy must always do his patriotic duty. So the next day, Johnny locked up his apartment, said goodbye to his parents, and went to enlist. They shaved Johnny's head and made him wear a uniform. They gave him a gun and taught him how to shoot it. Johnny was told once his plane landed, he would be greeted by terrorists who were trying to protect the evil dictator. So he'd have to point his gun at them and shoot bullets into their bodies so that they wouldn't shoot bullets <laughs> into his body. Logic will prevail. He was to shoot bullets at anyone who stood between him and the evil dictator and keep shooting and shooting until the evil evil dictator was gone <laughs> wow Rob. where do you find this crazy oh hey history uh it this is like could this be <laughs> johnny's plane touched down and he started shooting the terrorist he was shooting didn't look like the terrorist the newsman had shown on the screen many of the terrorists looked just like women and children and when Johnny would shoot one of them, a bunch of people would gather around and scream and cry. Johnny asked the commander if he was sure that these terrorists were really terrorists, and he was so and he was told to be quiet and keep shooting. Well, that's what you you know when you complain at work. What do they tell you? Well, what do these people think these people are doing? That's their job. <clears throat> There's even uh, people that want you to believe that that is the career choice for them. <laughs> Listen to what I have to say. I'm a, I'm a homicidal maniac, and I want to murder people. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. One, one, last, I'll try to stop doing that. <laughs> Your story gets me uh, thinking on top of it. So back to the story. The terrorist kept running away to avoid being shot. So Johnny kept chasing after them. He ran and he ran, and then suddenly he was being tossed through the air with a searing pain ripping through his body. The next thing Johnny knew, he was laying in a hospital bed with no legs. Johnny was shipped back home to free democracy, but he wasn't happy there. He kept thinking he was back in the evil dictatorship, shooting people and being shot at. He kept seeing the terrified pains, faces of the people he'd shot. Such ordinary faces, so much like his own. One night, after his mother calmed him down when he was screaming and trying to leap out of bed, she switched on the screen for him to see if it might help him relax. The newsman was there saying that the evil dictator has been killed. But another evil dictator in another country is now trying to use terrorists to explode buildings in free democracy, just like the last one did. There may have to be another war. <laughs> wow. Let me get a sip here. Hold on. Johnny watched the newsman talk, noticing that no mention was made of the last evil dictator, ship, or the people in it. The ones Johnny had seen running and screaming. All the newsman wanted to talk about was this new evil dictatorship and the evil dictator who rules it. And some of the, It's a little bit difficult for me to read for some reason, Rob. I do apologize. sound like I can't read, but it's, it's the way it's written. It's throwing me a little bit. Continuing with Johnny. Johnny watched the newsman's mouth moving, and the sound of his voice began turning into gibberish. Mouth noises in Johnny's ears. Something had changed in Johnny's mind. A fear gripped his insides like a big fist. It made the hairs on the back of his neck stand up. <laughs> right, that's what happened. He's lying, Johnny whispered. And from then on, everything was different. Johnny was no longer able to believe the words of the newsman, not just in the present, but also in the past. Not just from the newsman, but from the educators at school. Everything he'd been told about the world and about 
freedomocracy suddenly felt like a suit that didn't fit no more anymore. No matter how hard he tried to climb back into it. Well, there you go. It was like finding the end of a very tangled net and slowly working out its weaving. Yeah, like everybody can sit and do that. Johnny began working through all the stories he'd ever been told about the world and unplugging his belief from them one at a time. He began replacing those stories with different ones, new ones which he learned about on his pocket screen. Hmm. Turned out that there were people all around the world experiencing the same thing as Johnny was experiencing. See, the repetition of word throws me off. And they were all sharing their ideas with each other on the internet. You never saw any of those people being interviewed by the newsman, so they weren't famous. But they saw that the stories the new man, newsman was telling weren't true. Yeah, well, not enough people figure that part out yet, Rob. There's more, more gullible than non-gullible. What, what you got? I, I give me a break from the reading. For, let me smoke a little bit here. Make a little commentary, cause uh, I don't disagree with it. I'm just saying, if I sound retarded reading it, it's the way it was written and in the, in the punctuation it's using. And I, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm entertaining myself, so I, I go over to the chat for just a second and see how things are going. Um, no, he said he he wants me to do this. Oh yeah, I, I'm enjoying the hell out of it, Rob. I just wanted to take a break, get my mo my mind a minute, to catch up, have a have a giggle, and now I will concede. Con I will proceed <laughs> with Johnny. One day, Johnny picked up his pocket screen and typed out the words, The newsman is lying about the evil dictator, and then posted those words on the internet for everyone to see. A bunch of strangers responded angrily to Johnny's words. You're the liar. The newsman would never lie to us. Why do you love the evil dictator? Why do you love killing people with poisonous gas? <laughs> You should go move to the evil dictatorship if you love evil dictators so much. <laughs> but another stranger said, you're right. It was the first time Johnny had felt happy inside since coming back from the war. Finally, a connection with someone who saw what he saw. Johnny started writing more things on the internet. The newsman is lying about the terrorists. The newsman is lying about free democracy. The newsman is lying about everything. Well, I've been trying to tell you that. Not you, Rob. I just think of people. And it's too it it's so in your face. Your your reality would collapse if you if you didn't have a state to believe in, what would you believe in? Mm -hmm. See, I don't believe in the state, but my wife does. My wife's a part of a state. That's the way things are. And she doesn't deny that. She's Danish. It's, that's her. Me, not so much. America, Denmark, it's all just a bit of dirt with people, you know, doing stuff on it. So, Okay, sorry, Rob. Back to, the, back to your Rob story. <clears throat> Johnny and Johnny's way. At first, there were, were way more angry people responding than people who agreed. But more and more strangers on the internet started noticing the things Johnny was saying. They liked the way Johnny wrote, and they appreciated his story about the war and what had happened to his legs. Yeah, that part. Johnny found that he had a lot of things to say to the strangers on the internet. He wrote long articles, he made videos and voice recordings, all about the lies the people of free democracy were being told about what's happening in their world. He wrote about how people with lots of money can control elections and start wars to get even more money. He wrote about how the news company was owned by people with lots of money who profited from the newsman's lies. He learned about all the different stories everyone had been told about free democracy to trick them into thinking that they decide what happens in their country. And he got better and better at talking about them. 
Oh, very good. I'm very scared of America. You guys, please don't nuke me. I'll be good, I promise. And back to our story. And people listened. More and more strangers on the internet kept tuning in. Tuning in to find out what Johnny had to say. They found the stories they used to believe getting torn apart by the information that Johnny was sharing with them. And soon they too were unable to fit inside the old suit of old the old suit of the old stories they'd been taught in school. Boy, that's familiar. One day when Johnny was watching the newsman to learn what false stories were being told, Johnny heard something surprising. We have breaking news reports, said the newsman. Our sources have learned that the evil dictator is using the internet to spread propaganda. It is bad that the internet has been weaponized in this way, because here in free democracy, we have... We... We leave ourselves exposed by letting people say whatever they want on the internet. In the evil dictatorship, nobody is even allowed to use the internet. This attack is an act of war by the evil dictator, and it will be, it will not go unpunished. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. I fucked the last line up. <laughs> wow. Remember, don't believe the lies you hear on the internet about the evil dictator because it's Propaganda. The newsman concluded, It is your patriotic duty to get your information here at the National News Company where we always t tell the truth. Suddenly there were strangers on the internet saying that Johnny secretly worked for the evil dictator. Nobody <laughs> believe what Johnny is saying. It's propaganda. <laughs> Johnny is a secret agent for the evil dictatorship. How much were you paid to say this, Johnny, if that's even your real name? Johnny was shocked by all this, but he saw what they were doing. He explained to the strangers on the internet that this was a trick to make people believe the newsman story. And that is what actually the newsman who was conducting propaganda. Wow. Propaganda is when you trick large groups of people into believing false stories about their country. And that was exactly what the newsman was doing. I know, I saw it with my own four eyes growing up. And I'm telling you, they I, I saw Kennedy's head go one way and they explained it with magic bullet. Said, well, the laws of gravity only work until you're a president and then they cease to exist. <laughs> Things happen when you're the president that don't happen to anybody else in the world. Uh, give me a sip here. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm fucking up your story, but it's a long story. So I'm going to have fun with it. And Hannah's barking outside now. She's going all crazy. I'm going to pick up. I hope I pick up in the right spot now because I'm just uh, <laughs> having fun with your story, Rob. Johnny kept attacking the newsman story has har as hard as... Oh, there's typos. Okay, that's what I've, I'm combating here. <laughs> Take two. Johnny kept attacking the newsman stories as hard as he could. And people kept waking up from the stories they've been told. More and more strangers on the internet started writing their own things making their own videos talking about how they'd like to live in a country where people were people really are free and really do get to decide what happens like how they learn things are meant to be in school people were poor and unhappy because all free democracy's money was always being spent on wars and if they were really free and really decide what happens in their country that wouldn't be how it is. More and more people were getting very upset and they were talking about it. Let's see where this goes. It wasn't long before the next propaganda report. A new report says that the evil dictator's propaganda is even worse than we'd had suspected. The newsman said, 
the government of free democracy has asked internet companies to do everything in their power to stop the evil dictator from spreading his lies in our beautiful free country. Wow, this is just priceless, Rob. The strangers on the internet began having difficulty finding Johnny and the things he was saying on the internet. <laughs> internet get it you get in and that it's a net ha anyway they'd go to look for him and instead they'd find videos of the newsman telling them that it's their patriotic duty to support free democracy against the evil dictatorship i don't know man i think it's a, all a bunch of shit in the end but uh i would choose the smaller of the group that's my personal preference. I prefer rope over barbed wire any day. Come on. Huh. Yeah. Anyway, I got no but Vinny dumped me tonight, so I'm doing weird shit. Bear with me. Anyway, back to <laughs> back to the story. Uh, Johnny was frustrated. He kept speaking and speaking, but fewer and fewer people were able to find the things he was saying as the internet companies worked to hide his words. Johnny wanted to keep killing people's belief, belief in the newsman's story. Wow, that's a bad way to write that. But he couldn't do it if nobody was listening to him. He lost hope. Ah, I've got Vinny on the... I gotta, I'm going to read this. and I'm going to answer Vinny too, so hang in for a second again. Ding dong, ding dong, connecting, eh, Vincenzo, I get Vin, ah, it says connecting, but he's not connecting, hey, wait a minute, I'm going to uh, close my uh, wire and reboot my wire, Mr. Vincenzo, and, and then I'm going to continue, whoops, I opened the wrong window, then I'm going to continue with my uh, reading of Johnny's Frustration. But I'm going to try to ring through to get Vinny again. We've been having problems with the internet for the month, I think, pretty much. Whoops, I think I just hung up on him. Hold on a minute. Try it again. There we go. But I don't hear it in my headphones, so I'm not sure where we're at. So until we sort that out, I'll just continue reading from my Johnny was frustrated story. Hello, Johnny. Hey, Hang in there, Man. yeah. Hang in there with me. I'm reading this crazy story that okay. uh, that Rob Works posted. You want to? Do you don't have a copy of it? I can send you a copy, right? That's all right. I'll listen. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't show up for the show, so I didn't know what to. Expect. Did you see what happened? No, <laughs> I I I didn't push enter before I left. Uh -huh. So I pushed enter when I got back. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Flash, I'm headed to town. Be back as quick as I can. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I remember. So, yeah, I left at like 10 o'clock, and I should have been back already, but I was forced to eat like all you can eat, Mexican, for La Rosarina, stuff like that. Well, you know, I just figured you're the only free man I really know, so I, I yes. tolerate your... Um, your lack of respect for responsibility suits me just fine, because man, yeah, I feel terrible. I thought why? I pushed in, or, I'm giving, and I got back, and I go, ah, oh, man, I'm giving you a pass on good. this, Vinny, because you live up to your freaking word. You're not just a a storyteller on the internet with no, you know, no way to prove it. You're just you. <laughs> hey, even when you're wrong, at least you're responsible. Well, thank you, know, you very me, much. Me and you had some pretty, sh you know, shitty words towards each other for a bit there, and we got through them. So, I'm a little upset, and the rest of the the players on the game about, you know, it's just word in the in the long run. I know the words hurt. People do horrible shit to other people and all that. But what has it got to do with information you're reading? Now, if there's written guidelines, I could understand that, or. But we're we're dealing with some people are less socially inept, you know. They they've got bad social skills on the internet, bad bad, and they don't see the similarity between 
taking a shit in your living room floor in front of you to some of the things they type. And I could be accused of that too. I'm not going to eliminate me from it. I'm just saying, that's what we do. And it's, you know, good or bad or whatever. It's what Vinny was saying. Where do you draw the line? And how how serious can this possibly be that we're going to start uh, making rules? Not just living up to an agreement, but, you know, this is a rule and you're going to get, if you do this, that's going to happen. And, well... You know, I see the real the real side to society, but I don't see the necessity for the rigidness because it's only words on a screen. It's not like any of this is happening for real. You know, it's just yeah, how you... Exactly. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, sure, I called Hansel a name and blah, 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 and that happened, but that's not anything happening. <laughs> not in a real physical form. It's just me being a dick and you read it. <laughs> but that goes on and, and it's annoying. It, <laughs> when I get bored, I stop doing it. I behave for a few days. It's just all good fun. A lot of times. And then other times if people uh, uh, take give, the, for instance. Take uh, it too far. It well, uh, right, I but the... When you start calling the other guy names, it kind of makes sides, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's it's hard to avoid the allure of a good insult. Then you want to compete. Yeah. I can say something meaner than that, you big pussy. Watch this. But it's pretty clever. <laughs> like, yeah, wow, I, he's, I'll, he's make, I'll make I'll make you feel stuff. bad. I'll show you how feeling <laughs> bad feels, Mister. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my my uh, story okay okay i'm gonna try to finish i got we got an hour left i should be able to finish it was supposed to be a 11 minute read and i keep interrupting it and i'm reading it like a bonehead so i'll i'll, I'll finish this this time <coughs> good thank you Vinny, for sharing wow my number one fan but the strangers on the internet didn't they began copying Johnny's words and sharing them themselves. They began making writing their. <laughs> they began writing their own words, making their own videos and voice recordings, sharing what they've learned about the newsman's lies. They began printing out flyers and talking to people on the streets to get away from the internet companies. Who wanted to silence them? <coughs> they began organizing in a large group and demanding to live in a truly free country. <laughs> Never going to happen. <laughs> you guys don't get it. Police were deployed to bash the people and spray gas on them to make them be quiet. <laughs> The newsman reported that everyone in the streets was a terrorist or a victim of evil dictator propaganda. But everyone knew he was lying. And that's the sad truth. There's so many that do, but we're called names. Anyway, his eyebrows grew more and more furrowed, and the people grew more and more restless. <laughs> Well, the storyline's better than the writing, Robert. We'll have to talk about this someday. Okay, I can't have much more of this to go, but I'm having fun, Vinny, so just bear with me. <laughs> then one day, the newsman announced that free democracy was going to war. All other recourse had failed with the evil dictator, he said. Everyone's receiving a notice on their pocket screens to report to their enlistment stations immediately. <laughs> but, poor Vinny, take take a breath, Vinny. Don't, un, don't enjoy the whole thing in one hit, mister. But nobody I went. Mute? Sorry. Oh, I thought I went on mute. <laughs> no, you just went distant. <laughs> everyone refused to fight this new war and everyone refused to support the people who were trying to start it. The tangle of lies fell away completely and everyone saw what was really happening with clear eyes. The people rose together and soon even the police joined them. 
and it wasn't long before the newsman appeared on the screen for the last time. <coughs> then the people began creating a country which really works for them instead of keeping them poor and trickled all the time. Tricked. Oh, trickled. <laughs> I thought of peed on. I saw tricked and had an L. <laughs> it what isn't perfect, but it is theirs. Run according to what they <coughs> want instead of what a few people with lots of money want. No, that's what you get. The people of free democracy drive off into the future together, not knowing where they're going, but knowing that they're driving, and Johnny gets to eat <coughs> as much peanut butter as he wants. The end. <laughs> that was fun. I butchered it, and I massacred it, but it was a That's a pretty good story. That's the one that uh, Rob Park, uh, posted right Yeah. There. It wasn't written Versus. to me. I'm I'm fussy, but it was typos and words I would have used differently. But the story was good. So what's oh, up, the Vincent? Newsman. Yeah, I like that. That's a cool title. Are are we at odds with the known solar system tonight, Vincent? Mm, wow, that was a topic I did not even think. Yeah, I think it was a pretty close to a full moon. I made <laughs> several sleeps last night. Okay. Um, waking up and getting back and forth. I hear my name sometimes in, in my dreams and I had to come forth and, and seek. So, yes, yeah, so I had dreams of dirty socks and pox infected blankets and war upon the land. Goods to be carried to the docks. And all oh, that your, sort of your mute button doesn't work worth the Hansel. Let me tell you, mister. It's, it shouldn't be working right now. No, but when when you needed it to, it didn't. I was. <laughs> when was that? When you get, came on. Just a oh, bit ago. Yeah. Look at the look at the chat. That you got, you got my fan club riled. <laughs> what are, I don't see it. What is it? Oh, you you didn't mute when you were choking on your weed, you bonehead. Anyway, oh, it wasn't working on the mute. No, oh, you terrible. were live. You were live while I was oh. trying to inform. Well, my, the f well the, I'm telling you what's happening here is uh, we're <laughs> back to the same thing we had at one time. My mute on my mic here is not working. Okay. Well, so I would have to go over to wire to mute. Ouch! Don't don't hurt yourself, Vincent. <laughs> this stuff changes, and I, I was listening to you. Um, I guess I don't know when it was last night or sometime. But anyways. You know, you're just talking about how you do this the same thing over and over, and then all of a sudden, it's like it's not the same and didn't do anything to change anything. So, yeah, I don't get it. Other than to say it's a conspiracy of computers. Well, it's just... The, if you're not emotionally attached to the other person that's involved in the disagreement, then there's no emotional to it. It's just complete thought. And my complete thought is, I don't care. It's just words on a screen in the long run. Just words. Just words. Okay, Rob works. Thank you very much. I, I enjoyed the hell out of reading your story. You Send other shit if you fill up to it. You know, because this is kind of a, a group thing. I don't, you know, uh, I don't take credit for nothing. I just... Do stuff, tell you things, read something, you know, whatever's going on. But I like to do the voices. <laughs> I miss the days with Mary Vincent. Mary, Mary brought that the goofy side of me out really good. And it took you a long time, man. We were rolling like two idiots Saturday, but uh, wow, for the last I don't know year, it's just been very serious. There's an underlying like uh, mm -hmm. discomfort almost to uh, being online. And when I'm laughing and having fun, that's usually because I'm, you know, or making voices up or acting ridiculous. That's when I'm comfortable with the radio and everything's good. But the reality of life and all the, the arguing and the, the bickering and I'm better than you and you did this to them in 1912 and blah blah fucking blah and what what we, right? You're right but what we have is we've got right now instant and we are here now so I think that the uh, <coughs> the 
interest should be on the behavior expressed at the moment. Not not so much interest put on what happened last year. You know, we're we're talking about like if it happens right now, deal with it. Don't let things fester and obsess and sit in a corner and mold. You're going to get this kind of result. You know, find a way to nip things you don't like sooner. There's tactful ways to do that. You don't have to be a Nazi um, site to have a, what would you call it, a family accepted kind of conversation going on in the main feed, which probably will never happen because I'm a, I'm a shit mouth. So hmm. I, what is the goal? People to not insult each other on the real liberty media is never going to happen. We're always going to. Yeah, that, that should be like probably front and foremost is people be insulted continually inside the feed right there. That's the type of real liberty media we should have is people from all aspects of their political uh to come over here and fight about it and call each other names. Yeah. So what? They're just yeah. words. And right. It doesn't make it true. No, if somebody the, I, says it about you. Well, I mean, but, is this all about the Vinny show right here? <laughs> no, of but you're, I agree, <laughs> Vinny. I agree with you. I'm trying to say uh, to add to that. Just one one little thing is uh, when it, when it's personal between two people, it's amusing. When it's three, mm, and then add, the more the thing gathers and gains momentum, it's a divide and conquer. And they're yeah. built in, and they work. And they're, sure they're do. Doing, okay, right. Well, there's no way to save the mess that we're in using the tools that we've got. <laughs> it's, <clears throat> a, it's an illusion to fix the problems that we have as a collective and all agree. That, that ship sailed a long time ago. We're oh, being yeah. directed by psychopaths to kill each other and live on crumbs because billionaires have all the freaking wealth. What? Why do we live like this? Capitalism. Doesn't look like capitalism to me. You got Social Security. You got, you know, this program and that. Everything's social. What do you think a community is? Bunch of fish? <laughs> What's wrong with people? They they call you names and they live in the very state of illusion they're accusing you of being in. <laughs> How can you not laugh? Oh, wait. Me and you had to have a little sidebar last night in conversation. Yeah. One of my waking moments. Yeah. We well, talked a, a yeah. bit about that. Yeah, well, weird things have been happening on, on our electronic living room floor. And uh, I don't know. I just figure out if I don't like looking at it, I'll ignore it. If if it bothers me, but I like poking at it, I'll type shit. And that's it. There's no blood, no debt, no insult. It's letters and words that can be interpreted in about ten different ways by the reader. And, you know, that much leeway should be given. You know, that we can, well, if we're ambiguous, would that be a compromise that everybody could live with? <laughs> it's kind of gone beyond, too. It's taken another big uh, leap, what I saw last night, and I guess over the last couple of days, and doxing. And oh, I didn't out see that. that. Uh, um, uh, IRC cops, like, uh, um, what's his name? <clears throat> Sock Puppet. He can go in and look at the... Uh, uh, inboxes to, if, if uh, you know, send a message to somebody. So, yeah, I, I don't, uh, I guess, he, he, like you said, I guess you're supposed to know the rules of what goes on there, but that's something that I, uh, that bothers me to, to think of. And then for him to come over and have that, uh, that ability, that position, and then come over and make a case against somebody, Pox. So, this uh, brings up a whole lot more issues than uh, this trend of uh, banning. Well, what he he used the RLM to 
to post something about Pox. I didn't well, they see got any of this. Both of them got K-Line for doxing each other. But this giving is out in, each other's personal information. Th this is in my sleeping time, Vinny, when I'm sleeping. So you're you know. telling me I don't know any of this from hearing <clears throat> well, it. I only know from I don't friend. either, you know. Uh, but uh, just like the ending up in the jurisdiction of a federal court, uh, if you end up there because you don't know, that's not going to save you. But uh, I see uh, a, a person of uh, position that has the ability to uh, come in and, and know everybody's uh, communications. And uh, he said that he does not lie. He may be a lot of things. You know, I'm quoting out of my mind here, but a liar he's not. And I've often wondered, you know, why somebody spends so much time gathering information and uh, sitting there, Johnny, on the spot. Uh, not say a word and then kill him a duck uh, just because he can't resist it just while he's uh, watching and copying, uh, going inside people's communications. <clears throat> I really don't know how I feel about that. Well, I do know how I feel about that. Uh, and I, I looked over here at this uh, not secure www.irchelp doxing. It's a lot of stuff. And it talks about the encryption and risk assessment and privacy on IRC. I found doxing very interesting though. It's uh, delivered from documents or docs. The term doxing refers to compelling personal uh, or compiling personal information on a subject and publicly posting such information. Doxing may be motivated by a sense of justice or revenge and is especially uh, an especially powerful tactic against individuals involved in underground activities you can go and read the rest of that but uh it uh really covered some of the stuff that was uh was being going on and had the persons there that just been doxxed or k-line that is for doxing so and then right back at it um that's that's a problem right there that the uh ops ought to be looking at here uh, more than words because this this is policing uh powers uh this is over the uh um the nsa the same type of deal right it's just Hello, a little Donna. just a little fun amongst friends what are you getting all excited about well i just wonder well, me too. I'm just saying it. it's the way it looks to me. is like it's just a little fun amongst friends on the internet site. What the fuck? What are you getting the your doxing? knickers? Yeah, what are you getting your knickers in a twist? It wasn't about you. <clears throat> what are you going on about? That? That's probably the extent of where this will go. <clears throat> hmm. I don't. I don't see this conversation having a good ending. No, not at all. I, I'm trying to. Just read the out chat. Of it, other than presenting the uh, the dilemma here. In read this. the chat, sir. All right, hold on. I was looking for something else. Okay, yeah, but uh, the bottom, very bottom. I'll come right back. Hold on. Okay. Anyway, me and Vinny are arguing about stuff as usual. On are we the arguing? In a perfect fuck yeah, we, we always do. In the In a Perfect World program on Tuesday night. My Tuesday night. Your Tuesday day. I, I'm gonna. I was doing this right here. I didn't go. Just do it. Okay, but there's somebody in the Copy chat the room saying something that you might want to read, Mister. Hmm. Oh, you were trying to do stuff. I should have known. There. Who there. am I? Yeah, that was what we're talking about here. Yeah. Yeah, everything you say, everything you say, belongs to the ether. And uh, so this is a little paraphrase the plagiarism I put together. Mm. Uh, the disaster. The disaster. The, 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 one more time. The disaster diaries. How I learned to stop worrying and love the NSA. Hmm. It's what a, am I looking for here? Is it of your Wait, own design? Funny folks. Wait. No, not about the Linux. What are you? Are you missing something or I, what? Yeah, we told me to read something in the chat. Oh, yes. Yeah. Somebody named Chemtrailer and says, fuck, come on, Vincent. Would you stop all this crap? You're Hold irritated. on, I'm going to have to mute. Yeah, go outside. Mute. I'm going to mute him. Anybody got a 
ball bat. I'll mute him. I'll show you the other side of your eyeball. Anyway, so I'm back to the serious side. Uh, yeah, because what me and Vinny are, are, are speaking about, I guess it sounds like we're talking about a particular, but it's really more general. And what it comes down to is in face-to-face -face, personal behavior is so much different than the Internet. And, you know, some people take liberties with it that other people can't tolerate. When they do it to me, I've got an answer that other people can't use because they have a position of control about who uses the site and for what purposes. And then, see, then it, you got Vinny's side where wh where do you stop when you start, you know, not allowing things to, and you start controlling? Well, then you got the taste of control now. Ooh, that felt good wonder what else there is because <laughs> by nature and i'm just speaking from experience i'm not pointing fingers at anyone this is just from what i know about me the more i got the more i want and uh that kind of woke me up to hey whoa you know where are you going so i'm not a prepper minded person if i wake up in the morning it's a fucking miracle and it happens every day. <laughs> I don't get it. Makes no sense. I just blame Sirk. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's the one making me do this. <laughs> I win. Nan and Nan. Boo boo. <laughs> anyway. So uh, are you all done with your uh, whatever you were doing? Um, I'm not sure. Well, I was oh, standing. Oh, on the phone? In... Yeah, on the phone? I was, the other deal. Yeah, I was standing in your place saying <laughs> that face-to-face, -face, people don't behave like they do on the Internet. No. And, and we seem to have lost sight of that some level that uh, it doesn't stop us from using good taste. We just go with the fucking mood and type what we fucking like. And if you don't like it, well, then don't read it until it's somebody saying it to you. And then you go, wait a minute, you can't say that. <laughs> but you might not even be a person that says that in the first place. So it's a catch-22. I saw hands use the word uh, fucking today, and I can't recall him ever using that word before. No, I know you were writing him about which hands he was. Yeah. See, then he went way back into these, uh, which, what would you call him if... Uh, standard response or uh, answer to uh, like out of the logs. I said, you had to go back in the logs quite a ways to pull that back out. Hmm. Back to the templates. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Oh, keep the break, keep the coffee coming. I'll have uh, a dry, always dry wheat toast uh, with his eggs, dry wheat toast. Right. You might have a side of marmalade or well, something. I think it was. Apparently you're losing your mind again, but we were on this big hellacious. <laughs> no, rant. this is, yeah, I was talking about, about my social experiment. Uh, Miguel, you you remember him as uh, D.B. Cooper from uh, UCY. So he has uh, uh, been conforming, wow. and he was in the little clique last night. He was really uh, uh, socially accepted, and I think he had a, a wee little willy moment there and uh -oh. decided his pants type of moment. Wow, Vincent, you're you're so good at public shaming. I hope you don't get mad at me again. Well, I wasn't shaming anybody. No, not you. <laughs> what do you My mean? My favorite one is about the giving money to Grimm. That was priceless. <laughs> I that was, was just not laughing. Shame. I don't know what that was. Me horse whipping him. You were yeah. being a if he's If he's bad. so influential, uh, uh, affluent, that is. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's, he gets so much entertainment over here. I mean, you ought to be able to you know, kick you in for a little hamster feet. I, I threw a dollar at Grimm, maybe two. Yeah, yeah. I can't there's, remember. There's some that do. There's some that do, and some that are uh, providers. Uh, right. Um, like. Oh yeah! Wait, 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 wait! I forgot all about it. We're still in February, and you guess what? It's twenty after some damn time. So I hit. Well, by my clock, I'm five minutes fast. So. <laughs> yeah, but hey, wait, wait. Oh, I got stuff. I'm gonna have it loaded up here. Grimner, our hey, our tech geek guy. Grimnir does all this magical computer shit. Does it through the use of fiat currency credit 
Oh, Bitcoin checks, charge, primacy notes, gold, silver. I bet he'd even take an, a live alpaca if he offered it to him. But I'm not There's sure. For that. I don't want to get. It. Where you're going to <laughs> I said I wasn't sure. It was just funny. But yeah, it's that Rogue. time. It's that time of year. Hey, I was enjoying my pitch. Go ahead. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it's that time of year for us to dig deep into the wallets and cut loose with the dollar bills to the Grimner. And if you don't have it, that's life. And if you do have it, then feel free to help him pay the bills through the year. It's all that this is about. And now we'll return to normal broadcasting protocols. <laughs> hey, Vinny, you old bastard, what are you doing? Hey, what kind of opening sound did you get just when we started? I have I no here? idea you what you were even asking me. But my we don't brother... use the opening uh, intro music, you know? No, so I, do. I don't use any of that. Opening sound. Uh, I've got the chopsticks. I just love these things, man. Yeah, I, I noticed. find myself uh, imagining myself a drummer. My brother Stash says hi. What's up, Stash? <laughs> hey, did wouldn't you know, that be cool? Uh, hey, did you know that gossip is hot? Really? I think so. Yeah, well, see, to me, not to you, I'm telling you what I'm seeing and how I interpret all this interaction and type, okay? People's opinions and gossip, maybe some music or some links about shit I'm familiar with. But the rest of it is just crap. So what? You know, not everyone you look at is pretty in your eyes. You're just seeing them. Don't, you know, don't make a big deal about every freaking thing. And, well, that doesn't work for everybody. Because <clears throat> then they go, well, you just don't have any feelings, do you, you cold-hearted oh, uh, bastard? <laughs> they call me that, Vincent. Cold-hearted bastard. I'm telling you. You think I'm making this up? Huh? 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 Well, okay. He's not listening. Wow. Yes, I, I am. Bragging and about. Get off the old packet, uh, dude. What? Well, you know, you do what you can in a society. My contribution to society is this uh, sick wit that I have. It amuses a few people. <laughs> Amuses me, my wife, and a few other people, and that's good enough. It's worth doing for, because I like to tell the stories <laughs> that go along with all this weird shit. Or interpret the information like we were doing before you decided to go get blasted out of your ever-loving mind on drugs. <laughs> and become Hansel's image of drugs. So can you come back? <laughs> That's right, my brother Stash. Stash and Flash. <laughs> yeah, mom used to have fun calling us. So you, you guys, uh, did you smuggle them through the, the moors and over to uh, the levees and dikes and dams and past mm. the windmills? No, but me and my little brother, we had a way of, of making mom angry enough to call the wrong name at the wrong boy. <laughs> it was... A terrible thing that we did to our mom but that's as serious as it ever got we make her mad to call the wrong name <laughs> she was like the most non-violent woman i ever saw in my whole life well it is now 420 somewhere uh, ah, well then I, I will have to find something around here in I amongst this loaded. mess hey get over here jose and clean up this mess come on chop chop anyway I'm my, sorry, uh, my host Pete will be standing in for Jose today. My, yeah, my butler Jose I had Mexican is food outside. today for lunch. All you can eat, baby. Whoa. Wait, I man. even brought a taco home. That that could sound wrong, Vinny. Don't don't make statements like that in a perfect world. We <laughs> we could get banned in twelve or thirteen states. Hey, what are you gonna do when people start banning us? Like Rob Works bans you. <laughs> Hansel bans me. I, I, listen, United I States, fuck them. Yeah, you know, when I get blocked by people on Twitter like <laughs> JJ McNabb and 
uh, Kieran, the suckling pig man, and uh, <laughs> other people like that. Thank you, you know, very uh, much. MD Lauder. <laughs> um, this other one, what was his name? Uh, I love eating Satan balls or something like that. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Thing, thing, Are thing you buttering out. for any reason at all? <laughs> yeah, it makes if you if somebody blocks you, then they lose. Makes you winner by default. It's like a non-answer, like uh, when uh, when Hal uh, sued the the bar and the uh, political parties. Uh, okay, and I then mean, then there's people, a winner by default. Well, right? you're judging everybody under one law. See, Why not? that's what's wrong with law. Law doesn't kill them all. Kill them all. Law doesn't ever make exception for the weirdo that didn't think of that. Because <laughs> amongst us are people that are so innocent of mind that they wouldn't think of doing the shit that they call against the law in the first place. But if you overpopulate us and you feed us a bunch of second rate shit, you know what you're going to get? Thieves what? and rapists and killers. What got counting coming? You're going to get um, Silence of the Lambs plus. You know, I'm, I'm going to mute up here. Okay. I'll be well, back. I'll go on a rant about my favorite movie, The Love Story, Silence of the Lambs. It's about an old man <laughs> and a young wannabe FBI agent. And, well, they have an on the job meeting <laughs> of sorts. And uh, an encounter ensues. Well, it's all mental, though. They they don't actually uh, ever occupy the same area freely. <laughs> he's always in a cell because he's a serial killer, you see. And he uh, he is a cannibal. He eats his rude victims. He calls them free-range rude. They need to be removed from... Society. Okay, hey, I was just getting into Hannibal Lecter stuff. So what's up? Anyway, we all know oh. how Silence of the Lambs goes. I was just reminiscing about my favorite story <laughs> while Vinny was gone. Hannibal. Let's get Lecter. back to... Hey, wait, wait, wait. Shush. Dip, dip. Okay. Dip, 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 dip. Okay. Now, uh, let's get back to the serious side of In a Perfect World with our debate on the public word. Take it away, Vinny. Um, yeah, I think, uh, well, we just got a message here from uh, Poxified. He's uh, leaving RLM chat for a while. Maybe forever. I don't know. I don't feel safe there. If one of you still want to talk to me, you know where to, to find me on here and on Freenode or uh, Fnet or W.EW. I'll be around in Unless someone or something stops me from being around. I'm not doing anything wrong or illegal by being online in chat rooms. There's no law in Michigan that says I can't be online. So that goes back to the doxing deal. Yeah. And I really yeah, I really feel like uh, uh, Sock Pucket was, uh, was K-line for that. And then he came back over and he did it again. Hmm. And riled up Moosey and calling this guy a pedophile yeah. um, for some sex thing from when he was 15 and a girl was 13. So I don't know the exacts on that, but there's a difference between uh, adults and sex with children and uh, two adolescents. So I, I, don't, I don't know. know see, story, it's all, it's all gossip right? to me. I didn't see any paper. Yeah, I yeah. don't care. Here we go in the first place, right? Uh, this is usually where I, I get people to roll their eyes if I, they're in front of me. This intrusive kind of topic matter usually loses me right in the beginning, and I don't want to listen. You know, oh, this person. But I think it's very important. Well, um, uh, matters here. Well, let this me finish. How Can I finish? The part my... of the network. Right. Yeah, uh, I just interject. Go ahead. Okay, but I'm what I maybe I didn't make it quite clear is. Uh, I really don't have a play in the decision because I don't have any interest in the information. I was trying to be nice, and I couldn't find a way to say that nice. I'm not appealed. Uh, you know, my appeal gauge does not go up with Box's input. 
so I don't have a an interest. So therefore, I'm like, okay, what? If he was exciting and then I couldn't live without hearing him, I, I'd be, hey, you can't do that. <laughs> but I'm flat as a board on the pox thing. But on the other thing, I don't really understand it good enough or do I have experience seeing what all this is about with my own eyes. I'm only hearing people tell me. <clears throat> you know, that's gossip to me, Vinny. Ah, see, that's, yeah. that's why. That's, I, that's what gossip coming in in uh causing policy in a sense to be set uh, influence of uh, a moderator an op whatever it's called the op uh, well yeah well, i, I all think that... that borders on uh what are they charging this collusion and stuff with russia and whatever yeah. that's kind of like one of them deals right there ain't it to me well how it is to me is uh people's businesses i i thought that was like an understood thing about Give me a second. About I, being uh, on... I, re I respect the anonymity and de defend those people over on Twitter that, that don't want to be docs. They have a fear of uh, some right-wing extremists coming to kill them in revenge. And, you know, there is a possibility yeah. in that. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, for me, I respect the per person's anonymity. Yeah. Uh, and, and doxing is, is definitely wrong, I would say. Well, just like I have you were a, saying, I audience, have a neighbor right? down down by the train station. It's it's about a fifteen minute walk, give or to ten fifteen, depends on how much of a hurry you're in. And in the building, I don't know if she's still there, but there was a, a, a girl that lived there, and her father it was a Nazi. I had met him at the train station one day. He was cleaning up the broken glass because he walks his dog, and he wanted the glass off the ground. So instead of bullying, hey, do he yeah, grabbed a broom and did it, and I was like in shock, and I had to ask him what what's the deal with cleaning up the glass? I've never seen you do that before. And one thing led to another. He's a dog lover. I'm a dog lover. I got Hannah at home, and I I brought him home, smoke bowl, and uh, have some coffee or something. I guess cocoa, whatever it was. And uh, he's a a Nazi ink politics name he's the whole damn thing all rolled up in one but what people don't understand is the person is when the when the representation comes from the internet and newspapers and television that can all be manipulated to make you think something that's true but not <clears throat> totally true you know like i have i'm a jew i had a nazi having smoke and coffee with my wife in my house and it was as normal a time as anything but uh, to the onlooker because of his ink and his appearance and all that you'd probably be afraid of the way he looked but that's not what people are to me <laughs> i don't see the ink and hair and all that shit that's not the threat how can that threaten you Woo! You know, because the mentality is directed in that direction through the, you know, the media, the movies, and then they put up somebody like Ted Bundy so that you'll hate the bankers too. <laughs> oh, we are in such a we're in a mess, Vincent. Are we not? Yeah, I I always see us uh, saying the same thing. It seems, you know, so many words. Let's control freedom. Well, it has to be for the good of some. Well, whatever is is. Maybe we're just picking at um, we're picking at it too too much and not leaving it be. You know, instead of just letting people make a decision about something of this nature at this level and just living with the results, we've been living in the results for a week and something now. <laughs> it's like. We're we're not we're not in reruns. We're in two different areas where the logic fits, but the reality of going through with what's logical doesn't really work because we're a bunch of personalities trying to share a room. And the more assholes you throw into that mix that are going to be combative, the worse the soup's going to be. <laughs> 
You know, no matter the the IRC rules and uh, specs and all of that stuff. Yeah. Um, this this Real Liberty Media chat room is an extension of reallibertymedia.com. We find that extension in the Twitter, the Facebook page, in the uh, Minds, in the RLO, and uh, all the places it goes out to. And, and that word that uh, we send out, the meaning Real Liberty Media, um, and the invite back here to this chat room. And that means that uh, uh, a lot of people got to be prepared to be offended. And if you are offended, then really got to take a look at what that offense actually is and where does it come from um, and wh where's your perspective in that. And I think a lot of that is lost a lot of times. And to, to say that we're not guided by emotions, I certainly am, and um, try to frame it inside of, uh, you know, a logical uh, a lineage there to, to walk through. But nonetheless, um, Oops. We, uh, we as humans, uh, you know, what uh, our emotions are part of what uh, makes us operate. Well, but when you put negative in, that's what you're going to put in. And it's yeah, not as though, and it's, and I'm guilty of it too, I know. But the, it's not like we don't know we're doing it. It's that you got the freedom of choice. And some people push it further than I do. I, I will say that. And I say some pretty mean things to old um What's his name? Hansel uh, Freud. Hansel? Yeah, yeah, Hansel von Freud of von Leeuwenhoek or wherever he is. You uh, know, the king of the world. With it, so. <laughs> yeah. Good God, the man's... Just... Even if it was serious. Wow. I mean, like, look, Woody, he's like, man, I miss being able to bash Chloe. Mm. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't miss her or not miss her. I don't care one way or the other. I didn't even bother to block her. I just didn't pay attention when she said shit. Because yeah. she did put up some good stuff to look at, pictures and stuff like that. But personally, we didn't Our get along. So, well, art, yeah. I'm being honest here. Instead of choosing signs, I think, or am I choosing signs? Pretending to be honest. No <laughs> Are we in a perfect world where seat belts and bottled water make your decisions? Yes, that's mm. right. Bottom do you water. do you call that freedom being strapped into a fucking two thousand pound rolling bomb at seventy miles an hour? Yeah. Strapped in that fucking thing in case you get hit. Wow. Rolling thunder. I'd rather be thrown out and hope for the best. But hey, J. Cynthia Brooks was in an episode of that, or the Rolling Thunder. Was that a series I or was know. that the movie? Maybe. No. Because tonight, in a perfect world, we're debating the foundation of communication. The insult. What insults you makes me giggle. What makes me giggle insults you. So if we were in chess, we would be at an impasse at this point. What would we choose to do? Hmm, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Uh, hmm. See, because if, if you're a, like a chess playing kind of person, I'm not really like a brainiac, but I, I like to play now and again. I don't plan every move of the game before I sit down to play it. I, I play the game according to who I'm playing. And that's always a fun way to play that game. And they call it defensively. But it doesn't mean that you're not willing to, you know, take a bishop and sacrifice it so you can get something free <laughs> but hey that's the way it is you know and sometimes an even trade and you come out with a pawn after uh, that doesn't look so strong at first but the end game ooh, those little pawns can be nasty so you know that's that um, hassle mentality because i play chess i know what you know, that battle, they win. But the chess player, the people I've played with in my life, it's not about winning the game. It's about playing the game. The winning the game is for all you other people. Chess players don't give a fuck. <laughs> but 
there's competition in the world and that the illusion has to be fed at every possible layer so that you'll go to football games. Because other than football. football. Foosball. Foosball games. Wow, Foosball. you really what are you smoking tonight, Vinny? That's the good stuff. Well, we started out in freedom and we ended up in seat belts and bottled water. There's society in a nutshell. You got people that are looking forward to the government legalizing what was illegal yesterday so they can tax it. Now, if these things were bad for us the day before, but all of a sudden they're legal and they can tax the damn shit, now it's good for you? Wait a minute. No, that's not the story I hear. Because, <laughs> I'm sorry, Vinny, but Hansel, every time he wants to insult me, he calls... He calls me a drug addict. <laughs> oh, drug addled. <laughs> but the day before, he brags about voting for weed. <laughs> but that's the only thing I do is weed, so he's got to add to it. <laughs> oh, my God. This... Now, instead of banning Hansel, I, I encourage him. <laughs> he's He's funny. He's like, I, yeah, he's like, I hate to put it like this, but he's like that really slow kid, you know, the, the one that doesn't know he's slow. He thinks he's like everybody else because he is <laughs> to him. But you know, well, I've met people a few times over life that were, you know, not all there, but they didn't know it. Know what I mean? <laughs> they they I walk. Tell like this story. Let me tell you a little <laughs> secret, Vinny. They walk among us. We've been they infiltrated do. by the zombie-like things. So they, the movie I was looking for. Yeah, I'm hearing myself talk back. Do you hear me talk back? I hear you talk back. It's an echo. Echo. No, I hear you okay. just. As, no. All right. Yourself. Hey, it stopped. For some funny reason. Yeah. I found that link. It was uh, Thunder in Paradise with uh, J. Cynthia Brooks. She was in with uh, her games, Venture of Hulk Hogan, in a top secret mission to ca capture the notorious foreign drug lord. If you look back in uh, what year was this? Uh, so this during the time of the war on drugs. Uh, war on drugs. They were producing these uh, fine propaganda movies to uh, you know instill an American heart. Uh, these things that is so important to the security of America. Oh, uh, I got a question for Grimner while we're live. Let me interrupt you. You mind, Vinny? Go ahead. This might right be on. a good one. And I might get booted off the RLM for this question, but uh -oh. uh, when was it uh, okay to treat RLM, RLM like a uh, like it's a confessional, you know? I mean, there there's opinion and there's stories, and it, but it's not like we come in here and post, you know, porn and people, you know, having ritual sex with animals and weird. We keep it to a common, you know. It's not, it's not like anything anybody even has to think about. They just keep their stuff uh, even, I guess. I don't even know. Do you got a word for it, Vincent? You know where everybody yeah. can see it, and not be insulted by the uh, by anything more than what it represents, not the way it's represented. See, that was something. That was something you just said was really good that I hadn't even included into my opinion uh, on the postings here, and we don't have that. Uh, you might have some uh, sexy lady shots, you know, but it's not like you know porn or nothing like that. Uh, no real. Uh, well, I've posted some. Uh, some real sick looking uh, stuff to look at, like uh, the babies being aborted, that sort of thing, which some people don't look at. Right, right. So, yeah, um, yeah there, there is hey, a, uh, a area of decency, but I mean, where do you cut it off at when somebody gets on here with a drunk rant and calling you a stupid idiot? And yeah, uh, I know. When, if you you know you're not a stupid idiot, right. so there's no nothing that makes it even true. It just shows how much of an idiot he is. So you and I encourage people to uh, to be as idiotic as they can. That way, the true exposure. You get yeah, a you see the real thing. The more somebody rambles on. Yeah, I agree with you. But 
see then you got that the person that's just not into even bothering with it and see i'm split still <coughs> on this because i see both sides almost equally you know you've got a right to not be fucked with but then you know then you have a right to your your own way of speaking but where do you cross the line where this is like a confessional and you can say whatever the hell you want and there are no uh, there is no responsibility for what you say to somebody how do you know when you cross that line? That person's got to know that. People aren't idiots. A goober's got to know that he is he drunk or not. He knows that he's not being respectful. You know? Yeah, I, I got to admit, if you can see the keyboard well enough to type <laughs> fuck you on it, you know what you're saying to the other person. <laughs> yeah. But the whole yeah, point is, there's reasons why we behave this way. And, and most of the time we overlook that and just blame the problem and never, you know, get anywhere with the problem because you're pointing fingers at each other and not understanding that it's the behavior. <laughs> we're, we're making each other do this. But I tried to bring this up to you and the last uh, dork table and you kind of rejected it. Let me try it again. All right. When me and you interact, my personal interaction gets a response from you get it i get a response i put something out you respond to it you with me here so far as vengali yeah okay well we agree that's how that works yeah okay then i believe that i have a participation in the result of what i get back by what i put out absolutely that's okay well, well now, Right, but Write we do, we don't all see the same exact thing from other people the exact same way. So we're all going to have our own fucking opinion about this nasty fucking thing we all despise anyway. But it's not okay to say that anymore. You know, then then you're voting somebody out if you speak your fucking mind and say, yeah, what a piece of shit, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's what societies do. That's why there's rules in society and you don't run around setting people on fire and peeing on walls and stupid things that normal human life forms don't participate in because they're civilized. And I think the internet brings that animal out of us and puts it to paper. And then the emotions get all worked up and you believe the shit you read and the next thing you know you're upset. But, you know, in the long run, it's all bullshit anyway. It's just how you read what somebody thinks of you or what they think of something. oop dee freaking do But the ones that cross the th threshold and go into the ad hominem, there's your problem. And I'm guilty of doing it with Hansel. I, I understand that. But if that wasn't an accepted part of the damn behavior in the first place, I wouldn't do it. I'm not the only one that gives Hansel a bad time. It's just <laughs> he comes back at me with bad names. <laughs> he he calls me a, a drug-addled hippie. <laughs> I got to find the other one. Tells, humana, 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 yeah, humana. Yeah, but I mean that telling me to go huff on shit. What kind of nonsense is that for a grown man to say to another grown man? Sniff socks, mister. I mean, if I was in a public place with a grown adult man that talked to me like that, I'd leave. I'd go, wow, you need to go play with the children's sport. You don't have a clue. There would be no interaction because it wouldn't invest the time it took to get beyond. You're an idiot. <laughs> and that's my opinion. I'm entitled to that. And I've been given that opinion by what I interpreted as his input <laughs> and it's fun it's not it oh, wow people think you get mad over this is no it's an endless source of comic relief and my self-esteem to be honest <laughs> i must go up when i think about cirque and all and my my self-esteem goes up 800 percent when that guy calls me a loser <laughs> <laughs> And oh yeah, oh I'm suffering so bad here and with this wife and and this is a dog and the cat, you know. Oh, it's so You're bad. You're not playing fair, Mister. You're supposed to feel like a loser when he calls you a loser. Um, loser. Oh, I'm telling Mr. you, loser. 
It's just wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm with you, Grimner. I'm if I'm upset, I block them for a while and stop reading their stuff until I'm not mad. Then I unblock them, or maybe I just don't unblock them. Just fuck it. Because in the long run, they're not going to tell me anything I haven't learned. And if they got me to the point of blocking them, they must have <laughs> said, like, fuck you or go fuck yourself or something. So I did. And I used atomic pump po posting my stuff. Yeah, what happened? To you're a rare case, Vinny. I, I, I have this forgiveness for you I don't share with other people very often. Yeah, Most people like piss me so off and I just leave. Fuck you. Go on. Have your want, you know. Have your little way. Me and you're closer than that. If it, yeah, We're well, connected. but not not a lot of people are honest with each other. They like to play games, you know. And then uh, the pot thing, fuck, make a big deal about smoking pot. What does it do? How does it impair me? <laughs> this idiot oh, well. thinks that I'm making stuff up when I talk bad about the government. <laughs> wow. Here's one. Um, here I seen it pop up when uh, when I was doing here. It's a, a RTR Truth Media said a 2016 study found cannabinoids such as THC stimulate the removal of the beta uh, amyloid protein, yeah. block the inflammatory response caused by the. That continue on. You find that RTR Truth Media. Yeah, you know, cannabinoids are great. Uh, I smoke it for uh, this rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, on a rare occasion, I'll take an ibuprofen, um, Tylenol. No, that stuff. Uh, that's a killer, killer. Uh, but the uh, you learned uh, your uh, list. Uh, ibuprofen too, but not near as bad on rare occasions and uh, maybe some severe inflammation. But I usually stay pretty steady. No, okay, and all I meant, Grim, was there's a difference between people saying what they've got on their mind, you know, and or saying it in a vulgar way or an unpopular way. That's one thing, but when they start using the the chat room as a confessional, that's kind of where, you know, I mean, if you if you stood up in the middle of dinner in a crowded restaurant, started you know giving the Gettysburg Address. How long do you think it would take before they would stop you? People would probably be watching, like, waiting for a flash mob to I, I wonder. Maybe some crazy guy out there with a video camera should do that and post it. Just in the middle of dinner at an absolutely fucking hour. Just stand up and recite the Gettysburg Address until he's asked not to or Foscaw arrested. And what if they shot him? Ago. Hey, uh, our forefathers. Oh, wait a minute. Was that Abraham Lincoln? What, or... what if they got a trigger happy cop that came in and shot him? I've read. I've read it happens. They shoot the wrong people. They break the wrong doors down, and shit goes wrong. And oops, sorry. Did we do that? We're the police. Oh, we're here to help you. <laughs> wow. America's in a big shithole. Boy, you just, I wish you guys all a lot of luck coming, because uh, your leaders are insane. The leaders here are insane, too, just a smaller place. They got to be more selective about how they treat people. <laughs> they still need an economy. You know, and your economy is so big that you got people that live off the economy. <clears throat> that doesn't really exist, by the way, in case you think I was falling over. But it's there. It just it can go away in a blink, and they've done it before in time, uh, the twenties. <laughs> so, and uh, this is I spell it's it. just how seriously are you willing to take this? I I, rem I was just thinking of when uh, the earthquake hit in San Francisco when I was there in '89. It was bad. And through the earthquake, I've been through so many freaking disasters by that point. I went to the freaking door. The bartender is clutching a, a door casing, screaming at me to get out of the, you know, draw, come back in. And why? If something's going to fall on you, you're going to hear it break and be able to move or not move. And I just sat outside. I was just as safe there as anywhere. But the, the cars were bouncing off the pavement. 
and there's a Russian church next to the bar, and it has those uh, pointed tops thing, like in, uh, like in what's, uh, what's that, Moscow. If you look at a church in Moscow, they have those pointy, they're round at the bottom, and they come up to a point, and they were freaking swaying with the earthquake. It was the most incredible moment of my life, probably, of all the memories of God, is standing in that sidewalk watching all this shit happening and not get hurt. <laughs> it lasted about a minute, I guess. But it was wild. I was in the weight of your downs in uh, oh, okay. the 80s something earthquake. And it was weird. It's like, oh, earthquake. So I went to the front door and opened the front door and just stood right there. And it was like, you could hear it echo and then coming back and then just ride out. <laughs> wasn't real big, but it was fun. It was neat. See how much fun you can have in life when you let life do what life does. You know how the bad times come in for me is when I try to control life. Instead of just doing it. You know, I want to do this and I want to do that. That always fucks up. Well, when I just wake up and go, okay, what's happening? Then I find it a lot easier. Hello, Cowboy Tech. Hey, Cowboy. But it's been a long road to get where I'm at today. You know, I wasn't always the second happiest guy on the microphone. <laughs> Never mind, Vinny. I spread the love chat everywhere I go, whether they like to hear it or not. I hey, say you know, it to them, mean? hey, come here. You I have something to, to show you. You know, it'd be cool. I have to control life. <laughs> Take some honey <laughs> and like, when you answer out. Probably couldn't do it in this kind of weather. But, uh, yeah, and draw your little message out and then all the answers like be all around it and it'd be like a living message and they uh, would carry part of it away with them well i hope between the two of us that we didn't i mean i'm not thinking we're changing or controlling anything i just want to throw my two cents in to you know for the people that make decisions to you know they got stuck with the shitty end of the stick on this as far as i'm <coughs> concerned you know yeah. the uh yeah, yeah well, not, you've got, sorry. well, let me minute, let me finish, because you've got nasty, mean, cruel things to say about the admins, no, that it sounds mean and cruel and nasty, and you know it. Really? Yeah. Would I lie to you about a thing like that? Even I go, oh, wow. Give me can't. one example, so I can uh, know how to correct it. Because you can't seem to connect on the human side of somebody insulting you every day you for years. you got to remove yourself from the well, human right, side. You're I just said. As a judge, you're an administrator. I, it has nothing to do with the human It's side. mean. <laughs> I can say it's what I mean. like. It's not you, mean. To me, wow. See, to me it is. You know why? No, it's like Judge Gloria Navarro. The, the go-go Gloria. But to you. Along, and you to know. me, I don't, I don't think that it's... Um, as easy to do as you make it sound, Mister Tougher Than Fucking Steel, mm -hmm. Superman. You gotta, you, you gotta understand that people have emotions as well as the ability to read, and there's certain things that with each person cross fucking lines. And if you're not, whether you're equipped to fucking deal with it or not, the beauty of watching people get shot down. <laughs> It kind of supersedes my my air for for uh, see because fair and fair and nice was overlooked for competition, and if you're gonna come compete in something and be a prick and you get shot down, you take your chances. That's how I right. see it, Absolutely. not how you see it. Well, there's there's a penalty to pay for being a dumbass, Mister, and if you don't believe me. Be an intentional dumbass and see how long you're tolerated. People will just either ignore you until you're finished and you go away, or they'll block you. But you won't there get you any response from them. So what's the point of being that way? Drama? Drama, 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 drama. I've drama. walked through a number of issues in the different forms and fashion. All yeah. in all. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, well are you making this about I... principle or about right or wrong? Because right. they're two different fucking principle things. Is, that I see principle as being about right and wrong. 
Well, in this case, no. Because principle is not about right and wrong. It's about personal taste. Not the same type of right and wrong. Then. It's different. It's, it's valued about, in words. Right. There is only right. Uh, wrong, there's only varying degrees of not right, then. Let's put it that way. I Ultimately, can, there is right. I, I can only it allow... It is not made by might. Right, it but is I can not only made allow... in numbers and strength. What is right, it's right, and it stands alone. But I can only allow what I can allow into my thing. That's what yeah. human is, Vinny. Oh, that's yeah, what yeah. See, that's a freedom of choice. That's a deal right there for you, right? Well, it's, it's, a, very... it's a completely different application. Well, that's so, what I said in the first place. Let, let me state it this way. And this is how I've been trying to write it and to come to see anyway. Okay. That, uh, uh, the perspective of the individual may include a wide variety of choices depending on the situation. A little slower. Each, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, slow, wait a minute. Just a few sentences here. <laughs> Wherein each chooses to respond or not, acceptance is the individual's choice for functional boundaries, responsibility. Yeah. Thank you, Daryl Becker. Yeah. Uh, and I've come to try to tag these all together here in the situation we find ourselves. When one has access to a space taken, as in a public square or commons, such as an IRC channel, it is no longer a question of individual consent when self-expression in in a free speech overlay. So you oh, have to okay. remove, remove yourself of having any any uh, choice there of are, uh, you said telling so, somebody else what they can or can or cannot say. Right, but you and you also you agreed with me earlier when I said there's just invisible lines drawn in the sand that we all just already agree with. You yeah. don't even have to ask this crew. They're just already of, I don't know, a certain tolerance of shit in front of their eyes. And you've got to think about that. Not everybody has been exposed to life the way you were or I were or Grimner or whoever or them. You know, because you're you and it's a delicate line you're walking on because the internet is different than in person. These things work so well in person because nobody right. wants to get knocked in the fucking skull for calling somebody's wife a name. Because you could, That's right. and it, boy, you talk shit to me in front of my wife. I, 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 I. Of course, I've never had it happen, but I'm just saying, her nice side would drop. She's very different when she's angry, and when she's angry, it's about something that was attacked, hurt the dog. Boy, she get oh, insane, you know. That's what this stuff does to us. It makes us emotional. How do you beat that? Vinny's be claiming and proving to us within a shadow of a doubt that he can live up to his word because you can call Vinny anything you want. I've had shit arguments with him. And we're still doing radio together because you get the ability to get beyond the problem if you talk one-on-one. -on -one. Find out, well, gee, you don't like me, huh? Why not? Well, Hansel's spent two and a half years telling me why not, so I don't need to ask him. But Vinny or Rob or Grimner or Cowboy Tech should have a problem with me, or Miss Kate or Moose, you know, Mary, people I've, Rob works, people I talk to on a regular basis never have a problem with me. They might not like the way I say something or disagree with a point or a detail or a, a whole fucking topic. But I've never insulted anybody bad enough to get, hey, watch your mouth, only with Hansel. So now I'm ambiguous and cunning and sneaky, but he's he's not stupid. He knows I'm picking on him. <laughs> Sometimes I tell him I got him on Iggy when I don't have him on Iggy, just to make him think he's on Iggy. Now and then I thought of going on the radio and telling him that just to make him wonder, does he really mean it? <laughs> because... In the long run, the thing I'm trying to point out here, none of this really matters. What matters is what you do, not what I do. Mm. To you. Now, to me, that, well, what you do, I don't give two flying shits about what you do. I'm not even in the same room you're in. So what you type on a screen probably has less influence than what you physically do, and I can't see you from where I'm at. <laughs> so enjoy the illusion. That's... I know it sounds cruel to people that are in point, you know, seats of decision. I I don't mean to mock your decisions. I find myself oddly agreeing 
with your decisions. You don't see me protesting them because they happened. You know, you're never going to change what happened. You're just going to change what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, okay, no, I'm good. My wife is. I we went over Vinny, or we're at the end, or something. Oh, wait. I lost Vinny at the end of this show. Hold on, let me ring him back. Get him on to close. He'll like that. Ding a ding a ding. Anyway, me and Vinny are all back and forth about this freedom of speech shit. Because it's all free until you got to pay for it. And you're insulted or somebody threatens you somehow. And then this chitter chatter on the internet becomes real. And all of a sudden you have a different point of view about it. Now I'm trying to ring Vinny back. I'm stalling while I do that. But, uh, you know, not that it's not real. It's just that, wow. I thought we were all getting along better than this. I don't have a Vinny voice. I'm hanging I, in. There I, he is. I fell off somehow. Okay. Well, you can do the close-up for the night then, sir. <clears throat> okay. So, come along tomorrow. Thanks a lot, 6 o'clock in the lands of Kansas Robert. for Grammy's Rocket Chair. We're blasting off. Thursday is the 20% off. Uh, Y'all yeah, come on over and uh, get some good deals. Yeah. And that's uh, Thursday at... Uh, uh, at six Eastern, right, Flash? What day? Which yeah, day? On Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Uh, Thursday, six six o'clock Eastern. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Midnight. And uh, Friday. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do broadcast Friday. I'm still trying to work on last week's, and I need to get with Grim and get some help on. Yeah, so uh, that I'll just blur right on along. And then again, six p.m. in the land of Kansas, we have Grammy. Again, and uh, followed at 10 o'clock uh, Central, the uh, Freakers Ball, y'all, with Grimner and Moose Girl. Uh, come back to the dork table on Saturday. That's at 11 Central on uh, Sunday at uh, about a quarter to 11, uh, all time Central. We've got uh, Grimner kicking off some blues, and we're going to play that up till uh, 2 o'clock Central. And in the meantime, playing trivia. Monday, come back for Grim Leftovers. And uh, I got confused on his time the other day, too. But that is uh, 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 6 Central, I'm pretty sure. And again, Tuesday, right back here for In a Perfect World at Noon Central. That did it. That was all of them. Okay. Well, I I got 9 o'clock in like 5 minutes or so, 3 minutes. Okay. So well, so we I didn't did. get an intro noise, so I'll go out with the outro on chopsticks. Yeah, but you were late. What you you want a marble fool? Okay, well, Boom. I'll see you Saturday on the dork table, dork. Thank you, don't. Okay, keep your pants up, your skirt down, and walk home in a group. Over and I'm gonna. I'm going to walk in the ice pellets. Out.